Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome to the channel. So it's been a while that I made a video and I wanted to make a video that would be considered useful for a lot of people. So let's figure out how to enable dark mode with a simple keyboard shortcut. I'm trying to go for the control windows L hotkey, but you can definitely change that to be something that you like. This is going to be an explanation video of how to do that. If you're not interested in learning how to make it, but you still want to use it, you can thank me in the comments. Although you can enable and disable dark mode directly from Windows settings, but that's just something that's complicated and we want to kind of reduce the amount of effort required to do that. So in order to set this up, you need two applications, one being auto hockey and the other being a text editor. So as long as you have these two applications already downloaded, you're all set to go. So auto hockey is a software that can actually do things in the background for you when you press certain key combinations on your keyboard. It is a very powerful software, but we're gonna use it for something very simple today. So make sure you just download it and find a place on your computer where you can store files that auto hotkey will need to use. So once you're ready to get started, go to the folder where you're gonna keep the auto hotkey files. Right click in that folder and go to new, and you can go and create an auto hotkey script. This will rename it to new auto hockey script, but I want to rename it to dark mode dash one just because I already have a dark mode dot AHK. So I'm going to right click on it and click on edit script. This is going to by default open in notepad. I highly recommend that you use a code editor just, just for the sake of how pretty it looks and the color makes it easy to code. But since this kind of does the job and I don't really need to see the colors on my text editor, so this is good enough for me. So these are the two registry keys that need to be edited. So when they are zero, that means it's dark mode. And when they are one, that's when it is light mode. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna check if our system is in light mode or it's in dark mode. Based on the value, whether zero or one, we're gonna switch it to the other one. So in order to get that start, get started, we're gonna remove these two things. The first thing we wanna do is check if the system is in light mode. So in order to do that, you can, you can use this command. I'm gonna leave all of these in the description below so nothing to worry about. This command basically reads the value from the registry editor and saves it in this variable which basically which also means that when light mode active is one that means it is true and when it is zero it is false so with that information we can write an if condition so if condition light mode active that means if light mode active is true then do the following command we don't have any commands in there yet but these are the commands that you want to put in so this is going to use the reg write function to write a value to the registry editor and it's going to change that to zero which means it's going to make it dark mode but in case it is not in light mode then we want it to switch to light mode which can also be done with a very similar command except that this time we're going to use a one now that we have all of this information we can actually give it a hockey like I mentioned, I want it to be control, sh control Windows L. So in auto hotkey, control can be referred to as a hat and Windows key is a hash or a pound sign. So when I press Windows control and L, and I'm gonna write two colons and I'm gonna start this function. I can go to the end of it and type return. And finally, we need to run a command to basically refresh the user settings in Windows. We can do that with this command. This is a simple command that will just make sure every time something changes, Windows refreshes itself. So I'm gonna save this file. I don't know why this is here, but this shouldn't be here. Uh, once I remove that, I saved it and I'm gonna run it again. This time it's gonna ask me if I wanna replace the existing instance of this same auto hockey that is running. I'm gonna say yes to that. And now when I press Control Windows L, my system goes to dark mode. And again, if I press Control Windows L, it goes back to light mode. Finally, for the lazy folks or people who are sensitive with their time and they wanna learn through something that can be done easily, well, make sure you download auto hockey on your computer. 
and it can be downloaded from the official website. The link is in the description. I will also leave this file in the description below. It's called darkmode-1.ahk. When you run this file and you press Control, Windows, and L, your system will go to dark mode. When you press Control, Windows, plus L again, it will go back to light mode. This can be changed a little bit. You can change the key combinations, but for that, you'll have to watch the entire video. Anyways, thank you for watching. This is Gate.